Hello, this is Nick here from Gorgon Reviews. I'm talking uh, I'm talking with Margarita Vicario, the director and writer of Gloria. The short synopsis of Gloria is that it's set in a girls' institute in Venice at the end of the 1700s and tells the story of Teresa, a young woman with visionary talent. She and the other musicians try to take on their Catholic overlords by inventing a new type of music that is fun and rebellious for the time. Uh, so thank you so much for spending time here today. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, the first question I ask everyone, um, and I know I might not know the answer you give me, and that's okay, but what is the first movie you remember seeing in theaters growing up? Well, um, my father brought me brought me to see um, Frankenstein, not the funny one, like the <laughs> hard one, and I was like seven, but I didn't make it. Like after 15 minutes, we we just go out. So my best memory when I was nine, uh, he brought me again to see um, Titanic. So mm. in theater, my first movie was Titanic and I was quite in love with Leo. So it was nice. <laughs> um, for those who are watching this and aren't familiar with you, you can be described as a total badass pop star, I guess. Uh, you've been in movies, TV shows, and of course been a professional singer for over a decade now. None of that's really a question, it's just context. Um, <laughs> But so first off, acting, singing, which one was the dream you first had growing up? Well, um, maybe the dream growing up was actually to um, be able to 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 build a story about music and put it in on screen. So mm -hmm. I think that this movie was actually my real uh, first big dream. But then I went to theater school to like for a degree in acting, performing arts. But then I was quite bored to wait, uh, you know, because it, it's a difficult um, job to be an actress. I mean, it's cool. It's beautiful. But you, there's a lot of time where you have to wait and like be very patient. And I'm not. So I started to write music. And so I had both of my careers, but they were all going like to Gloria, to the movie. Mm -hmm. So it is all roads led here uh, and how did you get started in the entertainment industry was it the theater school and yes theater school and then uh, it, it's strange because my for my first role in a movie was um the Woody Allen movie in Italy he has done one um, movie mm -hmm. um, I mean it was not a masterpiece and I had a really 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 small um role but it was like a uh, very nice uh, baptism. Like, uh, it was nice. Mm -hmm. um, so for Gloria, that is not the first thing you directed, according to IMDb. Um, it was something called Se Riesco Parto. Yes, but you know the 48 project? Uh... Yeah, the question is going to be asking about, tell me about that. Well, I used to do this 48, um, I don't know in English, how is it called? 48 program. Uh, like a 48 hour film competition. Yeah. Yes. And I used to do it with, with my friends, always like as actress. But that year in 2011, I said to my friend who was the director, I told him, well, because you, you, you pick the genre, you know? I mean, you you don't decide any every, anything. You have to write the whole story in forty eight hours and editing. And but uh, I pro um, he t I told him if uh, musical come up, we cannot. I mean, we will do it. Okay, let's let's shake hands. We will do it. Mm -hmm. And then musical came up, so he told me, okay, but now you direct. Uh, now you you do the the director because. I don't like musical. So I did. And we, I also won for best movie and in that competition, best short and best music. So, and best actress. So I was quite like happy, but then I, I quit. I mean, then um, after 12 years, I directed a real feature. Yeah. Um, I watched it, even though I don't speak Italian. No, um, but you don't have to watch it. I mean, it's forbidden. <laughs> I, I think it should be erased. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I like that it was like a, a little musical. I knew the, the title was also a song you had, but there was other song moments in there as well, all crammed into a very short time frame. So it was impressive in that regard. Um, so, yeah, a decade longer, as you noted, Gloria is out, a film you directed, a beautiful story. What 
led you to want to tell this story and what was your inspiration? Well, maybe my inspiration was the fact that I am still a girl making music. So <laughs> it, it was, and I know the struggle. I mean, of course, also men uh, has struggles in making music. I mean, it's it's a hard thing. It's a, it's a hard job. Uh, like to to find the place you know to find the place in the music industry and to let be heard anyway uh i was very moved by these stories i read about these uh, young girls who were very good musicians but they were like not i mean it was un, un, unthinkable that they could um um actually work as musician in the 700s as you said and so i said well I should put some of my um, fantasy, my creativity, and my music into that uh, into that story. So it's a it's a Gloria. It's like a um, a spirit movie about a, about places that were actually ex um, real um, that existed. Uh, this uh, like orphanage uh, where ch girls were were raised by playing music, uh, but then I just put all my my music and my fantasy, so it's a mix between uh, true and fake. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's a movie that immediately drew in the viewer, or at least me. Like just in the first scene, you got you know village things happening, and then suddenly the music starts. Um, it just draws you in really quickly. Um, which was unnatural yet amazing at the same time. Um, our main character is mute. Um, how important was that in the telling of the story? Well, um, the fact that she's mute is, of course, because she she um, she has all um, nonverbal language. So I think that also like very small, uh, like very young uh, children. Uh, they of course they can communicate even if they they don't know how to speak yet uh, but there are all the non-verbal language and music is part of it so I wanted her to be very like com communicate um, yes communicative I don't know how to say it in English but without words and also just because she I mean uh, she keep quiet because a lot of bad things happens to her in her past life and so um it's like if she's she's okay with the like the reality is fine unless she she's quiet but a lot of girls are quiet uh, and they have uh they have something inside so um, at one point she started doing stuff she's not mm -hmm. mute actually i won't spoil the ending of course um i was i was still shocked how it all went down um it had like a normal trope that the the girls were like underdogs, you know, standing up to the the Pope and other people. Um, was this the ending you had always imagined when you started to write it? Oh, yes, 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 because I didn't want like I am very hopeful, so um, I really cannot stand uh movies and i mean uh, not movies i mean art is very i mean everybody can tell whatever he wants mm -hmm. but uh, in my personal opinion i really love um stories that had one percent of hope like i cannot stand a movie without not even like a 0 0.5 percent mm -hmm. of hope at the end mm -hmm. even if it's a very tragic story uh I mean, and um, so um, I did this this ending, this, I mean, the last uh, scene. Of course, I don't want to spoil her, but it, it's an happy ending, but not for everybody. Mm -hmm. So um, I really didn't want to be like a very cheesy and, and fairy, fairy ending. I mean, it is a little bit, but um, just because I want the girls to be happy, of course, mm -hmm. but it. It wasn't like that, of course. Yeah, because in the real history, it's a lot of sad endings, right? Yeah. Which is the point of your movie. Um, one of the points. Um, I do know that I, during it, I smiled a lot as well, like the characters were. Um, since I got to watch it at home, I watched the ending just a second time right after it happened. <laughs> 
it was just it had a lot of good you know sounds and vibes all to it and it was really great to have the film represent these invisible women to history uh given the events that happened after your film you know the real history which again i'll let people see it and find out what happened um but this was a clearly a big passion project you said you know your your ideas were movies with music in them since you were young and you were researching this for a while but are you looking into more films like this in the future musicals or musical like films to direct i mean um i think yes just because the 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 day after i um finished i i and finished the shooting i was like well, I want to do it again, like tomorrow. Of course, another story, something else. But it, I was really like, mm, okay, I like it. I would like to. I mean, it was very, very difficult because as a first move, first feature, it was like period with period m movie with uh, with uh, music and musicians, and it was like a nightmare. But I really discovered some some things and um you know in italy we don't really have like uh, i mean in in the old american uk and the anglo-saxon world um musical it's much more like part of the culture of the entertainment culture but in italy we don't have it that much because as we say we are uh, um, our uh, people is made of poets and songwriters we're not like real entertainers i mean we are of course but we are entertainers like with jokes and stuff not like all the very big build up entertainment you know uh, so i really would like to find the way which is um, acceptable and, and likable for the italian audience because i think that music is so powerful and can really lift up stories but is i mean musical in a proper language is not mm, like filmical filmic language is not something that i own and is not something that like my like italy really own maybe mm. something i can learn from like from england from uh, you know from from what i see um so glorious was my first experiment to like do some something with a lot of music in it and part of the story but not really like of genre like mm. without genre so i don't know wh where i'm going to but definitely i would like to to go on this like research about music in movies but i don't know i will, I will see awesome uh, you were in Seattle for the festival for your film, right? Yes, I'm how still was, now. Yes. Uh, how, how is Seattle treating you? Was it good crowds? <laughs> very, very, very nice. And they were, um, I mean, they loved the anachronism. Uh, like, uh, and, and I'm very happy that... Uh, really, I did screenings like in Japan, in France, in Germany, um, and it's nice. And of course, it's my first screening in US, mm -hmm. and it's nice that uh, the fact that music is the main character can really like go everywhere because it's a, as I told before, is a non-verbal. Uh, like um, uh, media uh, so um, uh, Seattle was very very kind to me and and I also knew people uh, and talked to them and uh, I loved it young and 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 more like older people uh, and I, I really liked it on that note um, Gloria did as you say have its North America premiere at SIF it already played two times, Sunday and Monday this week. So if you're hearing me say this and watching this, you missed it. How dare you? Um, so for those type of people, like where's Gloria going next? When is it getting its big official release? Do you know any of that? Well, it's been uh, it's been uh, has been sold in 24 countries. So, I mean, a lot of people would be able to see it. But uh, for UK and US, which is like a completely, uh, this is what I learned, it's a completely different like market. Um, I, don't I don't have a distributor yet. 
So um, maybe we'll keep in touch. We'll see if it go on some platform. And I mean, it's just the beginning of the journey mm -hmm. of the movie because in Italy it was released like uh, one month ago. Mm -hmm. uh, so I hope that it, it, we could really um, um, arrive in US as soon as possible, but I don't know. I'm very little and uh, and I've just watched what happens to my movie because I didn't know anything about it. I just would like to write another one and work on another one, but I will, keep, I mean, we'll keep in touch. I will let you know. <laughs> okay. Um, but thank you so much again for the interview, um, talking about questions on directing and writing and music and Gloria. I hope a lot of people end up getting to check it out in the future. It's heartfelt and emotional, and it's absolutely a blast to watch. Thank you. Thank you very much.